Um, but this is a good opportunity to get a great foundation of what your options are and, and as our, our presentation is titled here, start to figure out how the hell we're gonna pay for this, okay? Uh, so let, let's dive in without further ado, and then of course, as always, you're gonna have an opportunity to speak directly one-on-one -on -one with your, uh, whoever you're working with at the CFS, and, and there's gonna inevitably be some, some, some dialogue and some collaboration before you guys make decisions. So from a timeline standpoint, as we always talk about, every college is different, but ge generally speaking, the fall semester bills are issued in and around July 1st, and they're usually due in and around August 1st, and most schools fit, give or take, within two weeks of that, okay? Uh, and then for the spring semester bills, they're usually gonna get issued around mid-November, due sometime in the middle of December, and again, there's, uh, depends on which school we're talking about, okay? So a lot of people, and I don't blame you guys, are pretty freaked out, because they're like, listen, we're gonna have to pay this bill, this huge bill of 20, $30,000 by, uh, August 1st here. And we have no idea how we're going to do that. We know we're going to have to borrow. What's, what's, our, uh, what's our sense of urgency here? It's not as, as much as you would think. Educational loans are not like applying for a home equity line of credit or refinancing your mortgage. They happen in some cases instantaneously and usually on the long side, maybe three business days. Uh, so even if we had to pay a bill by tomorrow, we could in all likelihood complete that process today and not even pay it. So again, um, it's, you're not as up against it as it feels like you are, but again, I do not blame you for feeling anxious if, if, that, is how you're, um, if that is how you're feeling. The, the rough kind of false timeline, we encourage families to follow and we're gonna be kind of pushing you uh, along this path uh, until we get to July 1st, is that we want to have a bow on how we're gonna pay for this year at least and maybe subsequent years and subsequent uh, children by July 1st. So that by the time that bill is issued, we already know we're gonna use the federal program or the state program or, or, or a, uh, the private sector or some combination thereof. But we're hoping to have a decision by July Okay, and we're going to talk about the details of setting up a payment plan with the college uh, in a bit here, but most colleges start their payment plans on June 1st. So a lot of times, if for example, we have to come up with $40,000 um, uh, next year to go to college, we could set up a payment plan uh, for a percentage of that with a college, but most of the time the payment plans start before the bills even issued. So that's a little bit strange. Now, it doesn't mean we're too late. It just means uh, if we don't start the payment plan until July or August, but they might ask us to double up or triple up our monthly payment in that first disbursement, which again, I'll, I'll talk about this more in a minute here. And this is probably also an appropriate time to stop myself. I should have said this in the beginning that hopefully nobody's, uh, you guys don't have to commit this to memory. We're going to send um, the presentation itself along with a bunch of helpful um, stuff in terms of links and repayment calculators you can fool around with uh, and we can help with you work with you to go over different hypothetical scenarios before we make any decisions and ultimately have a really clear understanding of exactly what plan we're putting into place and, and the entire life what the entire life of that plan is going to look like uh, again before we at least roll out this first year on July 1st so so keep that in mind I want you to kind of listen to this presentation because it, it, again it's going to be fantastic um, foundation in terms of making educated decisions here, um, but you're going to have a lot of uh, support and literature to, to come along with this. Okay, so 